live from the CBS Bay Area studios. This is KPIX 5 News. Now at 6, to mask or not to mask? The debate is back with COVID cases on the rise. We'll introduce you to one woman who says bringing back mandates would make a huge difference in her life. I'm John Ramos in San Jose. The fight over immigration continues, and now even some who were encouraged to come here say the system is letting them down. We'll have that story coming up. Plus, fireworks on and off the field in Argentina. As Argentina wins the World Cup in Qatar, we'll show you the electric final and how fans are basking in the wind. And the early reports are more hopeful for this year's Monarch Butterfly Cup. Live from the CBS studios in San Francisco, I'm Brian Hackney. And I'm Andrea Nakano. Our top story tonight at 6,000 of migrants are expected to arrive at the southern border as a COVID era rule is set to expire this week. Title 42 was put into place under the Trump administration. The goal was to stop the spread of COVID-19 in border facilities and to protect border agents from the virus. Under both Trump and Biden, more than 2 million migrants have been turned away under Title 42. Most of them at the southern border. After it expires, the U.S. will have to process all asylum requests, and it's not just people trying to get into the country who are having issues. With all the recent tech layoffs, people working in Silicon Valley on HB1 visas are worried they'll have to leave the country because the State Department is also facing a backlog of visa applications. John Ramos was at a rally in San Jose today where tech workers were demanding action from Congresswoman Zoe Lofgren. The fight over immigration usually centers on a fear of Americans losing their jobs. But there are some who are brought here specifically because their skills are needed. And they say even they are being let down by the system. 